Cheyi Makinde has not yet visited Igbaropo, but has met with headsmen in Akure. Hello, my wonderful people. If by now you would have known who Sheyi Makinde is, the executive governor of Oyo State, who has been trending, not because of him, because of Sunday, who rose up to the aid and the cry of the people of Oyo State, particularly the Igbarupo speaking area people of that locality, of that um, state. The governor pretending like nothing was happening, didn't have an idea what was going on. Meanwhile, people were going through a lot. Anyway, my people, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's dive straight in. Why Sheyima Kinde has yet, has yet to visit Igbarokbo, but met with headsmen in Akure. The chief press secretary to the Oyo State Governor, Mr. Taiwo Adisa, on Saturday explained why the governor, Mr. Shei Makinde, has yet to visit personally visit the Igbarokbo and Oke Ogon area of the state. The areas have recently witnessed some crisis following the eviction order issued to Fulani residents in the Yoruba by a Yoruba right activist Sunday. Adeyemo, aka Sunday Ibaho, Adisa said the governor would not jump the gun by altering the process that must be followed. When, when he reached there, but don't die, finish it. We stand up and go back home, Abi. No problem. Must be followed. This is what we talk about leadership. True leaders, they don't follow protocol, they do the necessary, the needed thing at the time. By the time you wait for protocol, many things, many things would have been destroyed. Let's continue. Adesa said the governor will not jump the gun by altering the processes that must be followed in ensuring that the sensitive matters on the ground will address through a pragmatic approach. He said the governor not showing up physically in the troubled area does not suggest. It does suggest, don't deceive yourself, Adesa, if that's what he says, is that the governor not showing up physically in the area does not this does not give the suggestion that he is not fully in charge of his duty as the chief security officer of the state while reacting to allegations that some quarters that the governor left the state for a meeting in akure ondo why igagon and adjourned communities within his vicinity just at arm reach we are in crisis he said those who hold such opinion um or, or just hold unnecessary grievances against the governor. Adisa said the agitation that the governor went to Akure why he has not gone to his very axis meters away from him to Igbar a place like Igbarokbo is a mix mixing apple with orange. The meeting in Akure was a southwest meeting which Adisa said the allegation that the governor went to Akure why he has not gone to Igbarokbo is like mixing apples with orange. The meeting in Akure was a southwest meeting which involved the governor of different states and the north to delegate from the pres for the president, President Muhammadu Buhari and all security agencies of the southwest were there. You don't leave the meeting of the Nigerian Governors Forum for a meeting that will take place within the corridor of your state, he said. Listen, uh, this, uh, that's where you miss it. Where you can prove to everyone, everyone as sundry that listen, my people come first. This is where some people miss it. You know, in the order and the hierarchy of how things should be, your family comes first. Your family, your family, your immediate family, talking about your husband, your wife, your children, come first before any extended family. But you know what some people do? They get married, they have families now. They, for, they, they, they put their wife and children or husband and children at the mercy of their extended family, forgetting that those extended family have their own family and you are not their number one. So you go grow old, dis, dis, disassociated from those who you should love and bring close to you. Let's just continue with the, new, with the news. You don't leave the meeting of the Nigerian Governors Forum and that would take the Nigerian Governor Forum for a meeting that would take place within the corridors of Oyo State. The governor who 
the governor had sent two powerful delegations to Igbarokpo and Okeogun within the week and immediately after the incident where people issues were threatened. The governor has fully briefed, was fully briefed. Can you see what kind of responsible governor you have? Mm, I shake my head was fully briefed on what is happening in Igbarokpo. He has also called a meeting for all the local government chairmen and political leaders in the area, which was why he came up with a security structure to deal with the situation in Igbarokpo, as he did few days ago. That he had not gone to Igbarokpo and Okyogu does not mean he is not working on the issue on the axis of his state. The issue of Akure involving the whole nation, the CP or your state as well we speak, is holding a joint security meeting with all the security agencies and stakeholders in the state. The governor is the chief security officer of the state. His business is not to carry the gun to pursue the criminals. His job is to take the final decision on issue affecting the state on whether compensation will be paid to Adeyemo, popularly called Sunday Ibaho, and the Sariki Fulani of Igagon, Saliu Adurothman, over the loss they suffered in the hands of unknown people. He said, I don't understand. I don't understand the specific interest taken in Sunday. It is just the pragmatic of the governor after his due investigation by the police decision. What is Sunday? Why is Sunday in every discussion as a matter of fact? Can you believe that? Can you believe he just said that? He said, does not understand the interest in Sunday. Your governor was doing nothing and we did not even know that people in Nicaragua were suffering, being kidnapped, raped, and uh, we know that this was going on, but we didn't know the scale until Sunday brought it out. Can you see human being? Let's continue. They are understanding the invest they are undertaking the investigation now and will decide on the upright approach to follow the way forward. If there is anything going on, any compensation at all, the security agencies are still investigating the matter. The governor will take a decision based on the report they present. The report on the investigation will be subjective to him submitted to him and he as a security agency of the state the governor will take a decision based on that report that has been submitted to him also those who, these are matters under police investigation no governor will jump the gun when he does not have the details of what is transpiring the people the police would investigate and the guilty will be brought to book the police will also investigate and know those who committed the crime or the suspected people then the government and the security agencies will come to the conclusion on what will be done there is no way the government will jump the gun in any security matter so this is what they have to say guys leave us a comment let's hear your thoughts don't forget to like or share subscribe click on the notification button god bless you bye for now